Welcome back to the ABL reselling channel. I'm Dave Keith, and I've had a very busy weekend. And I thought that seeing as it's been quite some time since I've done a video like this, we're going to pick the orders from the weekend. Now it's all well and good me showing you what happens at a boot sale, how much I'm picking stuff up for, and obviously how much I'm listing it for. But unless I actually sell it, it's all flannel. So hopefully today's video will add a bit of context and show you the life cycle of some of these items. Quite a few of them actually have only recently been listed. So you may well recognize from previous videos, the stuff that I've picked up. Now what I'll be telling you is what I paid for the item, when it got listed, and obviously how much it sold for. One thing that I won't be telling you is what I said it would go for in the first place. I'll stand by the original valuation. There will be varying factors whether that original evaluation is the same as the sale price, i.e. how long it's been in stock, if I'd sent offers out, if something arose after I did the original video, whether the item was damaged and I didn't notice, or whether it was damaged in stock, you get the idea, that kind of thing. Feel free to call me out if I'm way off in my difference between the original valuation and the sale price. Feel free in the comments to call me out on it, don't mind at all. But I just thought you might find today's video interesting. There's been a total of 27 orders this weekend for a total order value of £1,032.30. Well, let's get into it and see what's sold. So I'm literally just back from the boot sales after the weekend and I've got stock absolutely everywhere. So not all of this has actually been sold. So everything from there that way is stuff that needs to be listed that I picked up at the weekend. So, so these are the items that we're concentrating on. So getting some of the biggest stuff out of the way first, again, a lot of this, this stuff you will have seen in the videos. Some of the stuff, it's mostly boot sale stuff, but obviously a lot of charity shop stuff as well. First out is this really impressive and really quite heavy solid oak lamp. It comes with the lampshade. I'm kind of regretting listing the lampshade with it, but the lampshade's in really good condition. I paid £5 for this on the 27th of February, and it's going out the door for £49.99 plus £6.99 postage. Took some nice pictures of this as well, if I do say so myself. <laughs> These uh, show speakers, for some reason, I just didn't list them for the longest time. They were in the corner of the office. And perhaps I should have done really as well. The cost price on them was £2. Can't remember where I picked them up from actually. And they were listed on the 8th of April this year. Just a bread and butter stuff. These will be a nice easy pack, less than two kilos, small parcel. And they're going out the door for £12.99 plus £3.99 postage. The last of some sticky stock. I bought these shoes from a charity shop before I actually started recording on my stock system location and value. I remember I paid up for these. I got the I got quite a lot of them. The brand is Harry's of London. They're a designer brand and the comps at the time were a little bit sporadic but they were there but they're a stunning shoe. Very high quality. Brand spanking new. I think I got about six pairs, seven pairs, something like that. All a bit awkward sizes really. These were four and that's probably the reason they're the last out of the door. I think originally when I checked comps they were, they were about £80 a pair these shoes and I paid £30 for them. But I'm taking a loss on these just to get them out of the way. So £30 original price, they're actually going out the door for £20 plus £3.99 postage. Lesson learned there, won't be picking up that brand again and I'll certainly be very very wary of picking up a size 4 man's shoe. Next up from the military bundle, some things if they're just awkward to store or there's multiple bits to them, and in the case of the consoles I'll come into, onto in a bit, I'll package them up. It makes them easier to store and and also less chance that bits will go missing and damage will occur. It also makes life a bit easier when it comes to picking and posting them. So I'll stick a picture on screen of this item. This is from the military bundle that I picked up. I listed it on the 7th of March. Now, if you'll remember back, I picked up a lot of items from the same seller. It was a marketplace pickup, well into profit on, on the bundle already because there was some high ticket value items. Now I paid £200 for the lot, but like I say, well into profit. I've put an arbitrary cost price of £10 on this webbing and it's going out the door for £34.99 plus £4.99 postage. It'll actually cost me a bit more than £4.99 postage. I think the current rate with Royal Mail for this is £5.95 but there's margin in there to cover the difference in the postage anyway. Now there must have been a reason for me bending my rule on this. I had a new, I've got a New Year's resolution of not listing items with a resale value of less than £10 and this has a resale value of less than £10. There must be a reason for that. Usually it's because the particular item 
hasn't cost anything at all. So I'll bend the rules in that instance. But that isn't the case with this. And for the life of me, I can't remember why I devalued it. There's a Tommy Hilfiger shirt, size XL. It's like a khaki cotton listed on the 11th of April. So not, not so long ago. The cost price I put on it was £3 and it's going out the door for £8.99 plus £2.99 postage. Another item listed on the 11th of April, cost price on this fleece jumper from Shot NYC. Pick this up from the Bolton boot sale. Cost price was £4. Shot S-C-H-O-T-T-C is a brand to watch out for, particularly where jackets are concerned. Some of the jackets go for ridiculous amounts of money, Some in some cases over £100. So cost price £4 and it's going out the door for £18.50 plus £3.99 postage. I think it was originally listed for £19.99 and I sent uh, just a small offer out. I'll stick a picture of this tracksuit top up on screen because it's the weirdest design Adidas tracky top I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure this was a charity shop pickup. Cost price was £4 listed on the 11th of April again I must have been on the clothing tip on that particular day it's going out the door for $19.99 plus $3.99 postage and it is a really weird design cool but weird it's well documented that I do like a lamp this has only been listed a few days actually this lamp listed on the 15th of April cost price £3 I mentioned in the listing the fact that it was tarnished needs a polish but it's a, a a genuine vintage brass lamp as opposed to sort of like reproduction or a more modern one. When I talk about a Corinthian column lamp, this is the design that I'm referring to. Cost price on this lamp was £3. I think this was from my first or second visit to Jerk. It's going out the door for £19.99 plus £3.99 postage. And hot on its heels, more lamps. These are more modern lamps. You can usually tell uh, there is a bit of damage to these as well because on the bottom of one of them, you could probably just make it out on camera. There's a dent and a bit of disruption in the base. Obviously, that was mentioned in the listing. There's a couple of ways you can tell the difference between vintage and modern. And in a lot of cases, it's quite, it's quite obvious. But if you're not au fait, we're with brass lamps. Vintage lamps will often have a brass collar and modern ones a plastic collar. Not in all cases, but that's a good indicator. On the base of vintage ones is usually not very much, if anything at all. And again, it will give, be giving you that vintage kind of vibe. But on modern ones, quite often it's fabric base because the Corinthian column style is very, very popular. And obviously brass generally is a, is a popular material in this type of item. They sell really well. I sent an offer out on these actually. I think they were originally listed for £18 and they're going out the door for £16 plus £4.99 postage. I'll actually make a bit on the postage on those because they'll be under two kilos and going out small parcel size. Now, after my last... But one trip to the Chirk Boot so you'll have seen me pick up three Sonos speakers and absolutely rave about them. I am a huge fan of Sonos speakers. They're just fantastic. But there's a little bit of a story with those. Of the three speakers that I picked up, only this one worked. All is not lost though. The black version of the Sonos Play 3, which this is, sold spares and repairs, went to Germany for £50. So I made a tiny bit of profit on that. Not too much because I'm paying, I was paying £30 each for the smaller ones and £40 for the larger one. The larger one I've got listed again for £50 spares and repairs. So again, I'm looking at breaking even or make, maybe making a couple of quid on that. But overall, I've made decent money on it. As like I say, cost price for this speaker was £30. Only been listed since the 11th of this month. And it's going out the door for £109.90 plus £6.99 postage. Another very quick sale. I'll put a picture on screen again of this mare's wetsuit. Only listed for a few days. Cost price was £5 and it's going out the door for £29.99 plus £3.99 postage. This was actually a bit fancier than your normal run of them or wetsuits because it's 5 mil. A lot of wetsuits are 3 mil and this is plush lined as well. So on the inside, it was a little bit more insulating. Quick flip, decent profit. That's what we like. Now, don't do so many board games these days. But Cop It, this version of Cop It is one to watch out for. Uh, again, you pr I'm probably going over trodden ground if you'd have seen the video where I picked it up. But like I say, the reason for doing this video is so that you guys see the life cycle of some of these sales. The cost price on it was £1. It's been listed less than two weeks. And as predicted, it's going out the door for £19.90 plus £3.99 postage. It's only a really basic game as well, but for some reason, it's very, very popular. Before I started reselling, I'd never heard of it. So cop it, often sold very cheaply. Stick on your bolo list. And I'm starting to think that this is a little bit more than coincidence now because this Ben Sherman shirt, very nice shirt indeed, actually, 100% 
Egyptian cotton was listed on the 11th of April as well. Cost price on it is £3 and it's a size XL. This one's going out the door for £18.90 plus £2.99 postage. Charity shop pick up now, this Karen Millen jumper top. It's been listed a month, cost price was £4 and it's going out the door for £12 plus £2.99 postage. I think by the looks of the value of that as well, I've sent an offer out. I send out offers very, very regularly, but it's not often very much. Pair of ASICs running trainers now, cost price on these was £2. A boot sale pickup on the 9th of April, so not been in stock very long at all. Pretty funky colours on these, really lightweight. Good return on these, £14.99 plus £2.99 postage. Got a message off the buyer on these, many thanks, hope my golf improves. <laughs> these are Donne men's golf shoes, uh, size 8. The cost price on these was £5 and they've been listed since the 16th of March this year. So just a touch over a month and they're going out the door for £14.50 plus £2.99 postage. Again, probably sent a little offer out on those. One point to note on golf shoes and a lot of golf courses these days, they don't permit metal spikes. So if you're looking at golf shoes, I don't often do to be honest and certainly never without doing my research, you're probably better off only picking up the ones with the plastic studs and spikes on. Bit of sticky stock. This is not something I would generally pick up. I think it may be, have been part of a, a bigger charity shop bundle. So a vintage musical snow globe. Teddy, it's, I thought it was really cool actually. Probably just stuck it in the basket at the charity shop because it, it just looks cutesy and it's musical. So I'm thinking safe bet. But in hindsight, because of the risk of breakage in postage, probably would have gone against it. Listed on the 14th of September last year. So I've been on the shelf quite a while now. Uh, cost price £3 and it's going out the door for £17 plus £2.99 postage. Again, probably sent an offer out on that going off the price. Now, if you've been watching my videos since way, 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 way back in the dawn of time, you'll have seen that I listed somewhere in the region of 60 or 70 of these oil of aloe anti-wrinkle day creams. I still have some in stock, probably maybe say about a dozen. The cost price on these was 25 pence a unit. They do sell, but it's just so sporadic. Every now and again, I'll have a run of about three or four that I'll sell and then nothing for three or four months. But I've left left them listed because they cost me very little. I only sold one on uh, only sold one today, and this is going out the door for eight pound ninety nine free postage. Free postage is not a word you'll hear me say very often. Next is an item I'll just stick on screen because it's downstairs and it's entirely pointless. Bring it all the way out to take it bit down because of the size of it. Is this Joey Nitro Stroller brand spanking new? Picked it up from Tesco as a bit of retail arbitrage. There was two of these and two baby swings. The baby swings were a huge profit. Paid twenty seven pound for them and they both went out the door for about £130. This is the second of the strollers that are sold. Cost price was £40 and it's going out the door for £79.50 plus £5.99 postage. These are a bit more of a special issue. These are Adidas Cosmos men's track and field spikes. These are metal spikes but that only matters to golfers apparently and not to track and field people. Adult size 12, really, really, really good condition. Cost price on these was £5 and they were listed on the 12th of March so again just over a month and they're going out the door for £15.99 plus £2.99 postage. Now about a month ago I picked up I think it was I think it probably worked out about 12 kilos of costume jewellery went through it found all manner of goodies not just costume jewellery uh, there was a lot of watches on as well when I say a lot I'm talking around about 60 70 watches of varying dis descriptions some vintage some new some branded some not branded so what I've done is broken them down into smaller bundles I'm already well 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 into profit on the costume jewellery bundle because I've been selling costume jewellery at a kilo, a kilo and a half a time and making good margin on them. In this instance, it's a, a job lot, again, I'll stick it on screen, of eight ladies dress watches. Sold as spares or repairs because cosmetically they're in good to very good condition, but with very, very few exceptions, they all need new batteries. So I sold as spares or repairs. This set of eight, I've put a cost value of £2 on them because obviously it came from a larger bundle. Listing on April Fool's Day, but certainly no fool because these are going out the door for $12.99 plus $2.99 postage. Now this isn't a brand I'll be picking up again. Uh, James Pringle shirt, short sleeve. I think it might have been a clothing bundle I picked this up in because I put a cost price of £1 on it. Just getting this out of the door because I'm sick of the sight of it. It's actually been listed a really long time. 
<laughs> I listed it on the 8th of September 2020. Glad to see the back of it, so just moving it along. Still making a tiny amount on it, but if you take into consideration the relisting fees, then probably not. It's going out the door for £4 plus £2.99 postage. Now, I think it was two or three weeks ago, I went over to the world to buy the stock of a reseller that was getting out of the game. I think I spent £200 with Ben, and I'm well into profit on the bundle already. These were items that I'd never come across before. I was aware of, but I'd never come across them, never sold them or anything like that. These are laser discs. You may remember me saying they're like giant DVDs for laser disc players. The laser disc players can go for ridiculous amounts of money, maybe it's like four or five hundred pounds. The discs, not so much. So I bundled them. There, there were some titles in there that were worthwhile sell, trying to sell on their own. And the likes of Casino, Scarface, cult kind of movies. But this is a bundle of four laser discs. Only been listed maybe 10 days, something like that. And these four, are, the titles are Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves, uh, The Shadow, Michael and Tom Cruise. So not exactly, sorry, Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible. So not exactly the most popular titles. So that's why the reason for bundling them. They're going to Spain on GSP for $14.99 plus $3.99 postage. On to the big stuff now. I'm surprised that this has taken so long to go, actually. I've got four of these Barbie Dream cars on retail arbitrage. Now, the first three sold really, really quickly, but for some reason, this one didn't. It's been listed since just before Christmas last year. Cost price on them was £9 each. There's varying different versions of this type of Barbie car. This is one of the higher end ones. There's, I think Tesco does a cheaper one for about £15. Can't remember where I got these from. Chances are it was a supermarket, either Asda or Tesco. Like I say, cost price was £9 and it's going out for £37.50 plus £5.99 postage. Again, one of the pickups from Ben. I'll stick a picture on screen because I've packaged it up. It's a Nintendo GameCube with one game, controller and its leads. I enjoyed testing this a lot. <laughs> I put a cost price on this of £10. Only been listed 18 days, listed on the 1st of April. And it's going to Keithley in West Yorkshire for £64.99 plus £5.99 postage. This is a sale that blows all the other ones out of the water from my second trip over to Chirk. Is this Sony Giga Duke CD player DAB USB hard drive hi-fi. Model on it is the NASE 35HD. 80 gig hard drive on this. Cost price was £40 and it's only been listed three days and it's going out the door to Liverpool for £179 plus £4.99 postage. I've packed this really really well but I'm still tempted to pack it inside another box because I don't want this as a return. I know it works perfectly well and it sounds amazing. I really don't want this as a return because some courier has been kicking it around the place so I'm going to assume that they will do and pack it accordingly. Now I haven't been counting but this should be item number 27. This is a Sony PlayStation 3. Just the console bundle this, the console, one controller, power lead and HDMI lead, no games with this. Only been listed 10 days. Cost price on this was £20. If memory serves, I di it didn't originally come with a controller. In fact, I don't think it came with any leads. I did get two around about the same time as well, and this may well be the one that I got from Ben as well. So there's another reason for me to say thank you to Ben in this video. Cost price support on it, like I said, £20. Listed on the 8th of April. It's going out the door to Rugby for £64.99 plus £4.99 postage. Now, literally, as I just pressed stop recording on, on that segment just there, I made another sale of this Under Armour Blue Loose Fit Golf Cold Gear Top. Cost price on that was £3, and it was listed on the 11th this month again. God only knows what was happening that day. Must be must be a lucky day. Stick the 11th of April in your diary for next year as a lucky day or something. <laughs> did I say cost price £3? Yeah, I think I did. And it's going out the door for £18.99 plus £3.99 postage. So all in all, a great weekend on sales. I've got a lot of packing to do now. As I said, the reason for doing this video is to give you a full life cycle of some of the purchases I've made for resale. If you've got any use out of this video at all, find it informative, entertaining and whatnot, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. I know you guys are already subscribed because you're dead savvy. <laughs> But if you're not, click the subscribe button. Notification bell will give you a notification of next time I post a video up. I'm going to get elbows deep in some packing now. So I will bid you a fond farewell. I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. See you in the next one. Yoxall out in front of the minute, but we've got 10 seconds left on this race. Is he going to win it? Is he going to use his sword to cut back the opposition? But he can't make it. Trev Bratley back. Bratley just across. Completely naked.
<laughs> waddling about in his just birthday suit. And he's won the race. Well done, mate. Absolutely well done, Trev.